I wanted to bless my, my garbage trash people. Not all of them, but the yard debris guys. <laughs> Especially to thank in a warm, sincere way for taking the time to be so nice during the holidays. So isn't that nice? I think I'm gonna try to find a way to tape it to the tree. And then I'm gonna spy and watch them come. This is why I'm doing it. You see this? I do this very frequently to them. I'm a very abusive yard. <laughs> They've totally earned it. So I think right here, I think I'll tape it like right there. I, I gotta use two hands, but that's where I'm gonna put it. So it's obvious to them. Okay, officially there it is. And and when I keep it, I, I'll keep a 20 in my hand just in case there's three of them. And then I'll, I'll just slip the other 20 out. Although I think they're just going to be pretty surprised at that. I, I've always wanted to do something like this. And I, I know Jack has blessed um, them before with like food or, or uh, treats. I don't know if he's given monetary before. But I'm telling you, these guys have definitely earned a little Christmas bonus from me. <laughs> For sure. Hey, you guys, I was just la laughing because there was a squirrel who thought he might make it into the yard and Buddy came out and was like, no, no, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Anyhow, I thought we would have a fun, it's after, it's almost afternoon, um, seeding another, just a couple things. Um, my geranium seed came in from Park Seed Catalog and I wanted to try spinach again through the winter months and a snapdragon now these like to germinate between 70 and 75 degrees but then they want to grow up with 50 degree nights and 60 degree days so that's pretty much what's going to be going on i would think for most of january and february you know it'll be, it can be colder 40s of course if you're inland more uh, that would probably not be real good but uh for me right here on the coast of uh, east central florida um i think I think we can get away with this. I've not had much luck doing the snapdragon seeds like any other time of the year. So um, I may bring them in the house to germinate them and then bring them outside for the rest of winter. And I'm not sure quite, let me show you. Uh, if I have time or cups, I may, may go in, um, do a couple things and then come out and put these into cups. Look at how beautiful they are. Like this is the dead on cabbage. It's already got uh, true leaves on it. This is the Godzilla broccoli also has true leaves. And this is, should be Twister cauliflower, I think. Where'd the tag? Oh, this is Godzilla broccoli. What is this? Oh, I have two of Godzilla broccoli. No, 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 no. Wait, <laughs> that's not right. You should not reuse tags. <laughs> Well, if you do, be careful. Uh, Twister cauliflower, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, so that's my cauliflower, which I don't really need much of. My um, my second sowing is doing well in ground, um, but I definitely need more broccoli. Boy, I desperately need that. And then uh, cabbage is always nice, and I uh, I have plenty of cabbage, but I may throw these in 2024, early uh 
I may throw those up in front of, um, of the yard, you know, in the front area. But for right now, I'm gonna, gonna keep them kind of protected. One thing that, uh, no, two things actually that Jack and I have decided on, um, we definitely need to make, he's gonna take, well, he already has some time off between Christmas and New Year's. So we're gonna make it a priority to finish the coop wire and whatever little trim, I think he wants to put some air vents and whatever. We're gonna finish that up. It should only take two or three days. I mean, we're really close to having been done, but you know, summer came in heat and then other projects. And uh, and then you just don't wanna do it. And uh, if it's windy, hurricanes, any of that stuff. So anyhow, we've run out of excuses <laughs> and now it's a good time to get the coop finished. And the other thing is uh, we've been planning for quite some time to get the trees done. And um, it looks like we're gonna start gathering coats and hopefully they'll be trimmed in January or depending on how long the waiting lists are, maybe February. But we'll get the quotes and then we'll hire a company and we're ready to go on that project too. And of course I'll put, I'll hide the camera somewhere. Um, but for sure we're gonna focus on the oaks, not so much the pines. Uh, yeah, because they're just, I have way too much shade up there. It's on the power lines, it's on the house, it's on the boat barn. Time to get that done. Okay, so let's focus on seeds first, because I think that'll be so much fun. These take quite a, a, you know, up to 12 weeks, or supposedly, I don't know if it'll be that long in Florida, but um, they take quite a while before they're ready to get out and transplant in the yard. So here they are, cute. Uh, there's only 10 seeds per packet. Um, it was very pricey, I, I think. Six, it was like six ninety-five, I think, for 10 seeds. Almost a dollar a seed. So we got to make sure we are very um, careful not to lose a plant. <laughs> um, this one is apple blossom, so it's white with a little pink. And then this one is lavender which is gonna go up around the house. Okay, so I had um, these little six cell containers laying around from something else I've bought. And um, here's the basic kind of growing requirements for geraniums. So um, sort of a nice loose soil. This is nice and fluffy. It's already been pre-watered. Um, they like to germinate in about um, 70 degrees. So what I will do is I will take these and put them inside my shed on the sunny window, which is also doubling as a greenhouse for me sometimes in the winter. And then as soon as they pop up, I can bring them out here, um, unless we're going to freeze in. But other than that, yeah. Well, no, I take it back, I take it back. I want one per tray, so when I just pop them up, there's one plant to transplant. Uh, they promise you 10, but I got 11. And then they like to be buried a an eighth of an inch under uh, the ground. So really that's just like basically making them slightly disappear, just slightly. A slight pop under. I hear that they're pretty easy. I've never tried geraniums before, but I do love them. And you know, $3 per plant, or if you're lucky to get them for that cheap now, but you know, it, it adds up. Okay, so that's it. Let's label before I forget, this is lavender geranium. Here we go with, this is the apple blossom. Hoping to get some sort of return on my investment. Oh, I gotta go back and retrieve. Okay.
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and not a single one more. Okay. I wonder if it's hard to retrieve the seeds, like for seed self seed seed saving. You better believe I'm going to try to save seeds if I can. I don't know if that's possible here. All right. Oh, there's none in this one. Okay. All right, there we go. Two more trays. And uh, next will be... Let's do... The red tabby. I and I don't let's see. I don't want to drop them in too deep. Okay. The red tabby um only needs to be uh well it like oh it likes to be sown in soil eighty five degrees. Are you kidding me? Okay, maybe these are gonna stay in the greenhouse <laughs> until until we somehow hit 85. Well, anyhow, we're not going to plant too many. And then, let's see, they want to be half inch deep. All right. Oh, I'll put one in the middle, too. This is just going to be sort of in the mix with the Salanova lettuces that I am also growing. Let's make one more hole right there and one there. Okay. I don't want to invest too much seed in this, especially if it really prefers 85 degrees. Come on. Spinach in 85, is that right? <laughs> Seems like a typo. Okay. Let's get a tag. This is a hybrid right here, a smooth leaf spinach called Red Tabby. So it's a F1 cross because it's a hybrid. And I'll put today's date. All right, so it's going in the greenhouse slash shed. Next, we're going to do the uh, snapdragon. Okay, now snapdragons, don't take any advice from me. I'm just reading off the packet. I'm not uh, very uh, good at this. So, um... But I would love to add this. This particular Snapdragon is called Potomac Early Sunrise Mix. So it's a variety of colors. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, there are seeds. Very few. Oh, my gosh, are they tiny. Oh, my. Okay, it looks to me like we can skip this one. Okay, so they need light to germinate. They like to um, germinate. It takes about 7 to 14 days between 70 to 75 degrees. So what I may do is I'm going to lightly put them in here before I lose them, okay? You can't even hardly see them. They're even smaller than like a broccoli seed. So what I'm going to do is um, I think I'm going to put on um, saran wrap or, you know, any kind of wrap like that you got cling any, anything i'll just put it right here i'll kind of mist the top and then put it in my kitchen and just let it sit there because that'll be a little bit warmer than um you know the geraniums and stuff like that um and i can definitely keep an eye on it i don't want whew, closer to the house and the closer to me the more it gets babied and this sounds like it really needs um babying <laughs> a lot um so yeah we're just gonna take a risk see i must have start you know done a lot in the uh, spring when or fall excuse me when i first bought the seed but let's we'll try this i'll keep you guys updated if anything happens from it but all right let's label it see wish for the best pray for it hope for it All right, this should set us up for success. 
for you know six to eight weeks from now hopefully um th again they won't be staying in here um this oh my goodness don't even look my windows are dirty this other condemnable shed is behind there but there's enough light to get things germinated so these are the apple blossom these are the lavender this is the red tabby spinach and i'll have to keep an eye every day set my timer so i can make sure these stay nice and moist in here uh it's kind of cool but it's not cold enough and hopefully it's warm enough for the geranium well the tabby spinach oh my gosh i'm still shock in shock that it requires that i gotta double sh double check and make sure i read that packet right anyhow all right so before I let you guys go, I wanted to show you this plant and see if any of you guys recognize it. Um, these were um, ordered as perhaps, possibly a specialty in patients. And my friend saved seed and gave it to me. I have one open that is purple, but she said they come in different colors. I have two more here I'm waiting to open. And my plant ID says Himalayan balsam or jewelweed or just jewelweed um but uh neither i know or my friend knows uh what exactly we've got planted so if you know please leave that in the comments below if you've seen anything like this before look at those leaves they're a little bit serrated they're sort of a, a light green yellowy green um at, at least in these cups i i think they have okay proper nutrition but if you know just let me know also, I just wanted to come over here and show off my angel trumpet. I think that's what it is. Um, plant. So they're beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. These are their little uh, flower pods. I don't know. And then they, they drop. Here, I'll show you one that hasn't dropped yet. See, that's where they start. And it, that ends here. But now the flower is starting this morning. It was only like an inch out. Now it's like two to three inches out. So that means and over there too that means they're gonna pop out like this probably tomorrow or the next day so i'm really excited to um i don't know if you remember if you've been with me for several months you'll uh remember that um this when my hawk's up this uh plant was sitting on top of a tarp which had dirt laid on top of it to be used as refill some at a later date on another project and then the roots just grew through the tarp and everything i had to just strip the plant off and break roots and everything but i got it out and then i went ahead and put it um back in the ground water 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 and it actually survived being replanted and then we re reworked this whole area and now it's got uh, impatience and i've got more starting to grow and I have, um, I think this is a Chinese violet. Over here we have ginger. I'm not, don't remember for sure. I have a fig peeking out the side where it can grab more sunlight. And uh, the acha acha, some chaya, a plumeria that's probably not gonna stay. I'm not loving that right there. But anyhow, it has various little shade loving plants in here, another ginger. So, oh. I love this. This is a perfect tropical addition to Jack's little section where he loves tropical things. And um, it's been fun trying to find shade loving things that are tropical and just, you know, and um, I suppose orchids would be next, but I don't trust myself with orchids. And then last but not least, we finally picked the rack off of this uh, tree. The tree, whole tree had fallen over and it's been sitting on this garbage can. And then, I think probably within the month we should be having this rack finally done too. That's pretty cool. And then hopefully no more racks until next, uh, you know, after the frost potential is gone. So, which would be like in February. I don't see any, so that's good. Please no, no racks through the coldest part of winter. <laughs> All right, you guys. Well, thank you for joining me today on this um, seeding and sowing video. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. If I don't see you again before then, I'm going to do my best to maybe put out one more video, but I don't know. Uh, possibly not. So don't hold me to that. 
But you guys, thank you for joining me all year long. It's been such a blessing and an honor to teach you guys how, when, why, and what you need to be planting in Central Florida. We have grown, I don't remember what we started the year off with, but we have ended with over 1,600 subscribers now. Just amazing, it blows my mind. And um, we, I just have like about 300 hours left uh, from full monetization. But, you know, anyhow, if you want to um, put my channel on and then go on vacation, <laughs> help me build hours. <laughs> I'm so close. No, I'm just joking. But anyhow, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for always being the best subscribers. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.